All right, I'm on the 1836 parliamentary service um, from Leeds to Gould. G loves trains and welcome to Exploring Yorkshire and Humber by train day 29. Now I was actually supposed to start this vlog, I had planned out to, uh, to do it very early this morning but basically I slept in because I've been out filming for a few days in a row now so I've had to come out to do it um, towards the later evening instead because I have got some dodgy stations coming up today and it was either do it super first thing in the morning or do it a little bit later on but anyways I'm off to Woodlesford, Castleford, Glass Horton, Pontefract Monk Hill, Nottingley, Whitley Bridge, Hensel, Snaith and Rawcliffe. I am uh, just at Leeds waiting for my first train to pull in. Off 21.58905, which has brought me to Woodlesford. It certainly was very wood like on the way in on the train, and it was just trees out of the window. Uh, I didn't notice pulling in there, well, you couldn't help but notice. I was, I was like, why are we whizzing past the platform on the other side? But it's because there are staggered platforms here, my favourite. Woodlesford, it's actually quite hard to say, <laughs> it's got two platforms, it's operated by Northern Trays, uh, we've got an information display, red shelter, I think it's the same over on that platform as well, um, and there's some red berries. Do you know what? I really like this station. The sun has just gone away as I'm filming this clip, but it did come out because uh, it has been raining pretty much all morning. Well, it's been a bit wet all morning anyways. Um, but there's also a ramp, which I'm a bit out of breath going up because I was skipping up eggs. But, um, but anyways, I am going to go out of the station and have a walk to the Urton Calden Navigation, I think it's called. Okay, so I've made it to the flowing water and it is a shame I've only got half an hour here at Woodlesford because not only is the station really nice looking, the area is really pretty as well. And um, here on the Erin Calder Navigation, there is a traffic light. I have never seen a traffic light on a canal before. Oh, I've had to take my jacket off because that, even though it was only a little warm, uh, made me proper sweaty. There was a little hill involved, so I'm on the next train now. It's a loud one, it's 150, 210. I'm at Castleford, it is an urban only station and it's got two platforms. However, at present time, platform two isn't in use. There is um, a plus 185 pulled in there for some reason I don't know the reason um, and I'm also not too sure what it is they're doing over on platform two but yeah all the trains at the minute are pulling into platform one and um, as well because there's like some triangle thing on the map I'm just gonna leave it at that for now the trains do reverse back out of Castleford oh the train is actually leaving now um, but there is a lot of scaffolding up around the footbridge, so I think they might actually be doing works to the footbridge. Down this end of platform one, there is a waiting shelter. And down this end of the platform, we have got an indoor waiting room. Uh, we've got information displays. I've just come very quickly to get a glimpse of the river air. Um, but yeah, I've seen it now and I'm going to head straight back to the station for my next train. Just got off 152.75, the Yorkshire Regiment, I think it was called, and that did have a uh, different interior. I don't think I've ever been on that unit before, but it has brought me to Glass Horton. Glass Horton there are northern trains. There is a really long and high up ramp. 
there are two platforms and on either platform we've got modern shelters with ticket machines on platform two it is a little bit more spacious than platform one down there and look how high up the electronic information display is as well jeez i've never seen one at all Okay, so from that station, if you do actually go up that tall ramp, there's some steps as well, um, you can actually go across, not only to the other platform, but across to the other side of the road. <laughs> of course, it was a direct link into the leisure complex across the road, but I don't think it is actually. But um, also outside of here, oh, there's a weather spoons there as well. Uh, there are some Blackpool Towers down there. I think there's a Premier Inn somewhere near here. Yeah, it's literally just there. I, can't, I couldn't see it because of the tree. But on my piece of paper, I did write down that there is a walking path. I think, obviously, when I looked at the map, there wasn't a name showing up for the walking path. Um, so, yeah, maybe I'll see if I can try and find that. Okay, so it turns out you can get to the walking path by walking across um, that bridgey thing just in the other direction to the leisure complex. Alright, back at the station now. My next train is about to pull in. What are the chances there's going to be another class 150? Yeah, it is. It's uh, 15201. I'm at Pontefract Monk Hill. This is the third and final of the Pontefract stations uh, that I am visiting within this series. And Pontefract Monk Hill is the busiest of the three. Pontefract Monk Hill is run by Northern Trains and Grand Central also stop here and it's got two platforms and when you're at Pontefract Monk Hill you put your knickers on your head, you put your knickers on your head, you put your knickers on your head. When you're at Pontefract Monk Hill you put your knickers on your head and you shout SQUISHY BABIES! There is a ticket machine over on platform one and platform one is where you have to go to get out of the station as well. Um, there's also red shelters and there's a post pickup point thing over on platform one as well. So the first time I came to Pontefract, I went to Pontefract Castle. The second time I went to Pontefract Park and now the third time I thought I'd go back to Pontefract Castle because it is pretty close to uh, Pontefract Monk Hill Station. Well, I've made it to the castle, however, it has just closed. So, uh, yeah, can't go in there this time around because I'm just out vlogging later than I usually am. So, where's the other toilet on this unit? Okay, I'm at Nottingley. Like I say, I do have an hour here. Now, this is a terminus of the line, but the next few stations that I'm going to between Nottingley and Goole, um, they're only served by a parliamentary service on weekdays only. So they only see three trains per day, one towards Goole and two towards Leeds. So to get the next few stations highlighted off, I'm going to ask the conductor when the train comes in, whether I can get off the train and then get back on. Hopefully they say yes, and then I can get these stations done. But as for Nottingley, there are two platforms and Northern trains serve the station. We've got a longer waiting shelter on platform one and um, a less longer, a more short um, shelter over on platform two. There are some information displays and a red bench. On platform two, the electronic information display and uh, there is a departure board just outside of the platform as well. Um, they aren't working. The one over on platform one, however, that one is working. All right, I'm on the 1836 parliamentary service um, from Leeds to Goole and the train is 152.75 again with the interesting interior, let's say. <laughs> Station 
it's got two platforms. I can't want 52, 7, 5, and I've decided to uh, save myself from running down to the end of the platform to take a station selfie. Um, I'm just going to get them when I ride to our lecture service back after the vlog's over today. <laughs> It's got two platforms and northern trains. Again, I'm back on uh, 150, 275, and uh, the stops down here are like five ish minutes apart. Alright, I'm at Snake, we just have to get out of the back door here. It's got northern trains and one platform. Off 150 275 for the last time today. So it's probably to my final station of Rawcliffe. Yes, I actually get to um, have a proper look around this one. It's a shame I didn't get to do so with the others because they are my kind of stations, quiet in the middle of nowhere. Um, so yeah, it's a shame, but oh hey well. So what's at Rawcliffe then? Obviously we've got Northern Trains, we've got one platform, it does look as though there could have potentially been uh, two platforms at one point, almost looks like an abandoned platform over there. We've got a blue shelter, a white fence along the platform. The station signs here as well, they are very high up. I think they were um, at the other uh, previous few stations as well. And I have noticed, which is handy for me when I go back down to my station selfies, the station signs are positioned at one end of the platform and at the very other end of the platform. <laughs> The initial plan obviously that went melt up when I uh, slept this morning um, didn't see me spending any time at Rawcliffe so I've just had a very quick look on the map. If you walk that way, the other way <laughs> from the station, you could go to the Nottingley and Ghoul Canal part of that but I'm walking the other way from the station into sort of like the village centre of Rawcliffe. Right, overall at Rawcliffe I have got like 50 oddish minutes, it's just less than an hour. Um, so as soon as I film this I will head back to the station to make sure I make that train, otherwise I'm completely stuffed. Uh, but I am really happy to have ridden that parliamentary service today. It's been a really enjoyable day out of filming, all the trains have been, uh, been running on time and everything's gone to my, not initial plan, but my backup, very last minute planned plan. Um, so yeah really enjoyed it thank you very much for watching everyone bye bye